Hello friend, I am Swamadeep back to a new tutorial video regarding beam in WSM method. From this video, we will know assumptions of beam design in working stress method. So this is our aim which is learned from this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, if you enjoy really much, then like the video and share with your group and subscribe the video because this is help me. So first point is whole design follows the elastic theory. Elastic theory. Elastic theory means what is elastic theory here? A simple paper stress proportional to strain so from here we can write stress equal to e into epsilon okay this is the elastic theory and from this elastic theory we can find this kind of graph stress strain and this portion this portion is known your elastic region and this is your plastic region okay this elastic region is irreversible that means if you apply the load so this much deformation may occur then if you uh, remove this load then you back in your original position that is the basically elastic theory so our WSM method we play whole thing under this elastic region that is why the first assumption is the elastic we maintain the elastic theory number two before bending and after bending before bending and after bending plain section plain section remain plane plane section remain plane what is its significance or visualization suppose this is your your beam okay so you applied load downward side so the deflection pattern will be this like this deflection pattern like this and if you go to your pure bending chapter this is the radius this is the radius of gyration at this radius anyway so this wait just a minute this yellow marking line should be your uh, such a plane where after bending and before bending plane section remain plane okay this is generally known as your neutral axis how should we find this plane yeah so suppose this is your i am trying to draw the three dimension now wait just a minute yeah now it is look like a three dimension image okay fine if we <coughs> cut the middle one so this is a point of middle and from this and this plane is this yellow marking line this is your neutral axis and neutral axis lies on a plane that is called neutral axis plane okay so here that is why we are saying that before bending and after bending plane section remain plane yeah because we maintaining the elastic theory if not then there will be some different assumption number three okay so see how i link one point to another point so uh, before 
bending after bending plane section plane very good news but there is a story on this section these two point comes to each other these two point comes to each other that means due to some force if points are towards each other that means they are generating compression force so that compression that compression force resist by concrete why because concrete is too strong to resist compression okay <clears throat> same form same logic these two points are going stay from away from the midpoint that means here generating tension so point number 4 tension resist by resisted by steel because steel in strong in uh, tension but actual concrete is weak in tension but concrete is weak in tension but i never said that concrete has no tension so that is why another assumption tension provided by concrete tension provided to concrete is not considered not considered this is assumptions okay so now this five point is very much clear to you bonding between bonding between concrete and steel are perfect whole design young's modulus of concrete and young's modulus of steel are constant ratio between steel uh, i mean to say young's modulus of steel and young's modulus of concrete is known as modular ratio that is denoted by m so that is equal to es by ec that is the constant value 280 by 3 sigma cbc okay compressive bending This is the value, and nine. Initially, there are no stress in material because we know every curve curve is like this. So this is start from the zero. It is not like that. Let's grab start from this, or like this. That is why we are assuming that initially there is no stress in material. They start from the zero. So yeah, these are the few assumptions regarding beam analysis in WSM method, where I discuss. total 9 point hope you understand in case you have some query regarding this definitely do comment in comment section i will definitely get back to you if you find some value from this video then definitely share this beautiful content to your friends to your circle and subscribe the channel for more 
this kind of video because these all things motivate me to making such kind of content for you without any cost in next video we'll talk about permissible stress we'll talk about the permissible stress okay so yeah thank you for watching this video so see you soon goodbye take care yourself